All right, it's about seven o'clock and I'm at Temple Mountain. I just finished packing up my bike this morning and I'm about to get started on the trip. So this is gonna be a three day bike packing trip, hoping to do about 70 miles each day. And uh, today the goal is 70 miles and hitting my water cache that I set up yesterday. So whew, let's see how it goes. My first big hill climb it was about 700 feet. Now, look at this! <laughs> I mean, I have a feeling this is what the views are going to be like the whole trip. Pretty awesome. I feel like I'm on the whole enchilada again. Look at this road. Getting a bit of a beat down on some of these hills. Looks at the elevation profile and it's really stacked for day one. So a little bit nervous about my goal today, but just keep going. Woo, top of the hill. Now I think I get a nice long descent for about five miles. And then I have another hill, which is even bigger than this last one. Bad news, the, the hill that I just did that I thought was the big hill wasn't even one of the big hills. So there's two big hills left. It's 11 o'clock, 11.30, going so much slower than I thought I would be. But nothing to do except keep going. Uh, that climb it took forever. So now I got a big descent, and then I got another big climb. I'm tired already, and I have only covered about 30 miles, and it is one o'clock. So I have about six hours of daylight left. I haven't even gone half the distance I want to, but it's just a lot of hill climbing and elevation and. Some of the terrain in the beginning of the route was a little bit chunky, so it was just slower going. I think I'll make it, but it's gonna be close, and I'm gonna be tired. So, let's hope this is a fun descent. So close. Everything just feels so hard. And this road is really sandy. And there's periodic winds which just kill me. I'm just going really slow and I think I still have another hill once I get underneath the underpass. So it's gonna be dark probably in 25 minutes. I don't think I can make it. So you can see it's pretty windy. So I think my new strategy here is I might just go until uh, I find a good spot to set up a tent. All right, this is it. I'm calling it camp right there. It's 7.03. Tent set up. Let's see what I did with water. So this is about half or three quarters of a liter. Yes, I have about one and a half liters here. So that's not bad. Going with the Elite Backpacking Chili again. Or beans and rice, rather. Oh, and I'm excited to eat it. Yeah, not much else to say. It was a long, hard day. 
about 11 and a half hours of riding and I only did like 63 miles but uh, it was like between probably between seven and nine thousand feet of elevation I don't know I'll have to double check when I'm done with all this um, so yeah I don't know I guess I'm behind schedule um, but I think the next couple days are going to be a lot easier um, day two of the bike packing trip slept pretty good out here last night all right 713 I'm all packed up and ready to go bikes loaded up I'm about maybe a quarter of a liter of water and uh, we'll see what it's like getting my water cat. Well it's not off to a great start. I'm pushing up this sandy hill. I have some nice views. I would have been pretty bummed out to be doing that last night. Alright here is the moment of truth. Oh, I see it. Yes. There it is. Oh, so this is about six liters or so. so good to just be coasting. This is called the Mulligan Wash. Water. Get some easy miles, then you get some hard miles. Oh. I fear that today is going to be another long day. I'm just totally underestimating everything about this route. There's a lot more sand today than I thought, so even some of the downhill section was slow. And then now I've just got this headwind that's killing me. So, I don't know, my goal is to do 70 miles each day. And yesterday I did about 63. Today I was hoping to make up some of that time, but I don't know. I think when you're out here by yourself too, just all that, all those feelings are amplified. So. Road. It's pretty incredible out here. As I hit Baker Ranch Road, my whole world changed. The wind stopped hammering me, and uh, this road is just really well packed. So I'm able to actually get some decent miles in. And in some cases the wind's at my back. So man, the views are stunning. So morale is high again, spirits are high for now. We'll see how long that lasts. But it is just amazing out here. Capital Reef. I've been riding in this wash for a while. 
and as you can imagine, it's pretty sandy. Sheesh, look at this sand trap. Had sand and dirt in my shoes all day, but that one warrants a dump. Suck. How dirty. I feel bad for my sleeping bag. I hate to even say this, but I'm starting to think I'm not going to be able to finish this in three days. I'd have to do four. Depends on what. It's just, it just depends on the terrain. Tomorrow, if it's like this, no way. Yeah. All right, it's 6.24. I decided to just call it here, this spot that's kind of sheltered by this rock. And, uh, I'm not sure what that other site's going to be like, if it's exposed or not. So, I decided I'll just call it here. Oh yeah, I can set up in white. Ooh. Uh, I just got the tent set up, it's 6.56. That was an affair setting this thing up. It's just so windy out. And apparently my uh, little sheltered rock area isn't as wind protected as I thought. Well, right now I really regret camping here. There is so much sand getting everywhere. It's probably getting in my food. Look, it's everywhere. I don't know if you can see that. It's everywhere. It's like a sandstorm in my tent, but I'm not going to pack up and leave now, so I'm just going to eat this food. I've got some earplugs for tonight. I'm expecting to wake up to a sand, sandy tent. Alright, it's about 6.30. Um, I'm waking up. It's day three. I feel pretty tired. I feel pretty dehydrated, so I need to make sure I'm drinking water that I have. I have about three liters this morning on me. Um, stats wise, today should in theory be my easiest day. I have about 63 miles or so to get to uh, back to camp or back to Temple Mountain. Um, the least amount of elevation, I think it's about 4,000 feet, uh, but it's all going to depend on the terrain. So I think it's doable right now, but my body is pretty tired. 7.30 and we are rolling, finally. A really nice sunrise behind me. That's the second dead cow I've seen. off the shoes for this one. Well, looks like the route crosses it again. It actually even looks like it crosses it another time on the map, so it might be too lazy to take off my shoes and just get my shoes wet. I'm gonna regret this.
right on track. Oh yeah, duh, here it is. This tarmac. Wow. Temple Mountains right over there. I can take this road that just goes all the way to my campsite. The actual route goes down into another canyon. I hate to say it, but I think I'm bypassing that. So I should be at the car pretty soon. So close. <sighs> did it. I cheated at the end and cut off five miles, but I did it. <laughs> oh, that was hard. I am dirty. Have a lot of type two fun. All right, time to figure out what I'm going to do next.